They'll be calling you a radical. Back to the Fukushima line, pieces of shit. Don't you think it's ironic? No print media, no media, nowhere, no how, no vloggers, no bloggers, no nobody, no how, no where, no thing, even talking about the flood. I watched the live cam, why the typhoon was hitting. They got hammered. They got hammered. I want to talk about Euro News reported. These scumbag liars says, oh yeah, we pumped out the contaminated water, put it in the empty tank. Oh really, what empty tanks? They don't have any empty tanks. It's like, people just believe these lies over and over and over. I says, if you believe any of this come out of here, well, why not release Bernie Madoff from prison and have him start running the fucking show? I mean, you think about this, 951, 952 days, and the media just completely dropped the ball on it. They don't even report it now, it's just like so blasé, so passé to them that doesn't even mean anything. Look, number four's already spilled onto the floor for 950 days. The plume hammered North America on the shake, immediately on the shake. These pools cracked on all of them. The containment was let out, it went into the plume. I mean, look around at the, what those numbers were. It's all across. The cancer is here, it's right now. It's just like the economy. Everybody just bitching. I listened to that asshole Jimmy Rogers. I gotta listen to that punk ass one more time. Oh, America's over, America's over. The economy's over, this economy. You know, he left, married some 40 year younger girl, freaking some Asian girl, and freaking moved to Taiwan. Well, why don't you stay the fuck in Taiwan? You know, I'm sick of these fuckers. It's none of them ever have any answers. I've had answers the whole time. I've been reporting day one and tune the fucking thing in the economy. Put tariffs back in, usury laws, enforce antitrust laws. Arrest people paying cash, not the exploited, the exploiters. I mean, it's obscenity to me. Oh, you know, it's just bitch, 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 bitch. It's like Max Kaiser, episode 496. Every time Kaiser, he gets a guess on and they guarantee Anytime you hear anybody in the finance world guarantee, I will guarantee you they'll be dead wrong. You can't guarantee things. I hypothesis, I told you to buy Tesla at 12 bucks. It's at 182 years ago. I told you to buy the Apple derivative on the 480s when they were said $30, they went to $6,000. I told you to, right, the day, the day, get out of gold by the triple leverage down on gold when it was 1900 a little over here. I told you the day, $47 on silver two and a half years ago to buy the triple leverage on the down. To the day, to the day. People don't want to listen to the truth. They don't want to listen to solutions in it because America is degenerate. TEPCO, to think that TEPCO, TEPCO isn't running this show. There's so much more to this story. This dog and pony show, I think it's really come to this point. They're like, you know, we spent $4 billion covering up Chernobyl. If people knew the truth of Chernobyl, in 86, it would have been over. It would have been over. I mean, an area the size of the United States is shut off from any humans ever living there. You know, Sanjay Gupta MD, two weeks in this Weber piece of shit, claimed they went in there, went fishing at Lake Charles, claimed, you know, Weber, all this. I mean, it's such lies. It's such lies. It's gone forever. I think they've taken this angle this time that nuclear cartel is taking the angle these pathetic fuckers in America are so pathetic that we'll just fucking slowly drip it right into their fucking face. We won't even fucking try. And they're so fucking pathetic, they'll still want nuclear. You know, the sun's there, the technology's there, the sword's being done all over. Germany has showed the playbook. You know, Merkel said right after, and that's some of the most advanced nuclear plants in the world. I mean, under construction. She said, nope, bump, nope. America is so degenerate and so grotesque. We have funneled to the 1%, getting rid of tariffs for 40 years. We really are a third world country. We're, we, we have all the hallmarks of a third world country. And I'm so sick and tired of people blaming politicians. And every time the vote comes around, whatever, it's not politicians' fault, it's the American populace. And if, I mean, look at this vlog if it doesn't prove it to you. Look at the story of Fukushima. People have seen it, they've read it, they don't care. They don't care. They're degenerate. They want this thing to crash. Look, what's the hallmark of a third world country? Exporting nothing. We export a little bit of grain, some iron ore. We ex There's some people right here that done well with the NAFTA. They skin little furry creatures, mink farmers. They've done well. The rest, everybody, China, we don't export anything. 
Look at the trade import imbalance in this experiment in the last 30 years. This so-called trickle-down economics, get rid of tariffs, get rid of user reusery laws, quit enforcing antitrust laws that exist. But you don't want to hear the answers. You don't want to hear the solutions. Third world country. What do third world countries? Spend your nuclear waste to one of those third world countries. They'll do anything for money. Oh, where does the third world, where does all the world send their waste now? This has just happened the last few years. To the United States, Utah and Tennessee. They're burning it in Tennessee daily. German waste, all the German, they burned it, which they've been kicking it forever. They're burning it right there. All over you people in the East, but you're degenerate. You don't care. You'll give up your loved ones to cancer. It's grotesque. Think about this when this typhoon hit over there. There were 135 mile an hour winds, 110, 120 mile an hour winds. It's not just the water, the wind blowing across those wide open plants with that nuclear fission, that steam and that fission just laying there, it's sweeping across, just whipping it everywhere. It's shitting, it's whipping it all over the world. There's China syndrome going on in three, probably more, probably seven or eight, because in number four, you've got the pools that split, went down, and they're in China syndrome, nuclear fission is Ackerman, the age of fission. But America doesn't care. They really do not care. I mean, we've told this story in exact detail. It's just like people blow back on me when I says short silver of 47. I mean, they'll watch, millions of people watch Kaiser, and I love Max and Stacey. Their commentary has been brilliant on the fraudsters and the banksters, but really, my PhD post here just wanted to prove why I'm so ignorant. My cancer, who, my whole path, all this, and it's just proved to me that not even just America, the world populace, you can tell them the truth right in their face, they do not want the truth. It's so grotesque, it's so epic, it's so dogmatic. I mean, you think about it, their answer is to get a gun. I said, what are you going to do, shoot the isotopes out of the air? And their answer, but if you tell them the answer is right in their face, I have solutions. I have solutions. Shut down every nuclear plant now. You know, we have the grid. But it's bigger than that, you can shut them all down to handle the waste. I've said for years, I've written paper after paper for 30 years on this. Transport it into one central site. I don't care if it's Yucca Mountain, they'll have to put the National Depository. One central site. Get the best scientists in the world together and come up with a, re you know, people say that re and there's a secret plant to re underneath Fukushima and all over. Maybe, but I've been hearing those stories for 30, 40 years. Oh, we're close, we're close, we're close, we're close. No, I don't believe, I don't believe it. The strike casting at living on that, I don't believe it. I believe you'll be having the same discussion 30 years from now. We're gonna get one here, these old plants, and it doesn't matter if we shut down Indian Point, it doesn't matter if we shut them, burning the waste. We're a third world country. You know, it, it's time for solutions. It's time. And until we do it from the ground up, we saw this dog and pony show. You think about it as my interview right there with Mike Lee, right here, and I let him off the hook. He told me, you can watch it. My thing in it, that was right before, days before he went back and held up his buddy Cruz. He told me right there he was gonna get with Senator White. And I've been talking to Senator White's people. He says, we haven't, we don't know what you're talking about, Kevin. I've been talking to Senator Boxer's people. We don't know what you're talking about, Kevin. It just goes to show you, they just lie to you in public you go check that elephant or you go check that donkey and that's it because the American populace, there's simple answers on all of this. Is it too late for, yeah, a lot of people that are dying of cancer, but I want people to understand this. My chance is to live with AML leukemia OS. Statistically are almost zero. It's all about that diagnosis in the early days. Understanding when you get sick, second, third event, and when you get, if you get even a little bit sick, even your swelled thyroid, even your low blood count, Bring it up to the doctor. Hey, before you open, before that pathologist goes in me, what about this being leukemia? What about this being, leukemia can form in all kinds of radical ways. Bring these conversations up. Bring Fukushima up, bring Chernobyl up, bring the Nevada test site up, bring these conversations up. Even the pathologist doesn't want to hear about talking, say, hey, hey, I know that Radna was crashed. I know we got hammered. Here's Troy Livingston's webpage. Here's Here's uh, Shane Russell's work. Here's Patrick Annie Plumgate's work. It's right there. The FOIA documents are right there. Here, and you educate them. That's what I did. You know, as I live to tell so far. I mean, this is an absolute miracle. Has it changed me? Oh, yeah. 
I'm hoping the 24th, maybe I'll get the light to go back to work. And people says, Kevin, you're so radical in your tents because I had to amp this up. Because I'm the counter to the other machine. My art form, my documentary, my literature, I have to amp it up. And I have amped it up. The counter has to match the culture. The intensity has to match the ignorance. And that's what I've done because without my voice, and I mean, it's changed me. I mean, I've lived in the country in Western version of Hamlet. My doctor, I told the guy yesterday, he says, just go do it. Look, the type of cancer I had, I know it could just rear back on me and kill me any day. And in two years, they've been shooting for it. I'll have a test on the 24th, bone marrow biopsy, and we'll make a decision. But I want to get back to humanity. I mean, in my root and in my core from birth, I've always been. I mean, this is all about human rights. And I want to say this about my blog. Any person that comes to me with any racism, any anti-Semitic, anything against women, anything against anybody with freaking can in the hole, in the hole. Individuals, I'm all for freaking attacking an individual, calling them out for who they are. But in the political platform, we need to look ourselves in the mirror in the face, you know, and say, hey, what have I done? What have I done? You know, we got to quit being afraid. We can't be cowards on this. We have to fight intensely. We have to fight logically. And we have to fight with answers. There are answers. We can change this and we have to give this younger generation a chance. Live like you have cancer before you have cancer. Fresh fruit, fresh vegetables. Juice from food, from food. I walk, I walk all the time. You know, try to say, I use tons of musical therapy. If you haven't noticed, I absolutely love music. I use my art, this new art form that I've come up with. I don't even know what you call it through this vlog. But we have to, be intense about this and we have to show the way we have to be leaders and we have to show the way and say hey first we have to educate and tell people hey we have nuclear waste all over this country 252 dump sites it's everywhere we have to call out the attention that 40,000 atomic veterans all died of leukemia just by a simple blast they weren't living there the whole time we have to tell the story about how the young women are dying from Chernobyl still this day well young people people the life expectancy dropped 20 years over there and how it's the whole area is gone forever. We have to tell this and then we have to say, okay, from the bottom up, you know, we have to say, let's get together. Spiritual leaders, individuals, people supporting each other. And we cannot be afraid. We have to fight this. This nuclear waste, yeah, is it too late? Yeah, in a lot of ways for a lot of people. I mean, the people that I've watched die, I've watched so many people die of this now in my face, as I watched my father die of this, and I've watched a lot of But while I've been in the hospital, our group, I've sat with so many over. Our youngest little patient, our little eight-year-old girl that everybody loves, she died last week. You know, it's a horrible disease, and somehow people think, oh, I'm not going to get it. And if I do get it, oh, there's some cure for cancer. There's no, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So many people go in there and they're like, oh, come by, yeah, this won't be bad. This won't be bad. And they get in there and they, you know, slowly, 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 and then they realize, by the time they realize it's how bad it is, it's over. And they're dead. This kills a lot of people. Fukushima is killing so many people. My estimate, well over a thousand. It's not just leukemia, it's MS, it's thyroid cancer, it's breast cancer, in a more intense radical form. It's all accumulating. Until we come out of denial and realize nuclearism has been a failure. Alan Greenspan and his free market fairy tales, the trickle-down economics, getting rid of tariffs, has been a giant failure. If there are very simple answers, very simple answers, but politicians aren't going to do it. We, we have to force the politician. We have, they watch polls, they watch it until we become post-ignorant, which we are not, we're your ignorant. We can do this, you know, it's going to kill millions and millions of people, no doubt, because of this dog and pony show and this evil cartel. But the only way we take this apart, the only way is through popular opinion. That's the only way through leaders. You know, I plan on leading the rest of my life somehow, some way, even if I have to just stand in front of this YouTube camera, whatever. You know, I, I don't care how I do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm not going to give up. Don't you give up. Stay in tune.